Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Bear Claw Bay. And uh, we did a couple of things in this episode. Most notably, we uh, got this region and we uh, built a uh, what is hopefully going to be a highly effective and efficient subdivision here. So this is based largely off of a uh, guy who I uh, found on Steam. Let's see here. It is Steam user Xre. Xre, I believe, is how you pronounce it, and oh no, shit's on fire. Well, let's see how fast the uh, fire department gets there. Well, if those were real life, they'd be screwed. Actually, that's not too bad. Well, I'm not sure when they called the fire department. I know in this game that shit doesn't burn down the way it did in SimCity. There we go. The fire's under control. Everything's okay. They're insured. All right. So anyway, as I was getting to here, <laughs> the um, I was uh, taking a look at uh, some uh, regions and subdivisions designed by Xre, and he uh, has a guide over on uh, Steam where he uh, shows you guys, um, well, he shows everybody, quite frankly, how to uh, build some stuff. And I was looking for some inspiration, so. I uh, saw his stuff and I decided I would try it. So he does things a little bit differently. I've got a six lane here as uh, what he would call an arterial road, basically the main road. And this is this is actually designed fairly like a real subdivision. Like I can think of, I live in one called Orleans, just east of Ottawa here, and uh, it is very similar to Orleans. And as a matter of fact, this big fucking thing right here is uh, similar to a uh, sheet street called Charlemagne that we have in Orleans. That's just this great big half circle where uh, a bunch of housing uh, houses shit pops off of it. And then the uh, arterial road here would be like one of the major ones like 10th Line or uh, Tram or Innis, something like that. I'm just naming off streets in my <laughs> subdivision. But yeah, I can think, I can see this. And I can recognize the city planning at work using the same principles uh, here in Ottawa. So uh, it's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it makes good sense that you get the traffic from these little side streets. You get them onto a secondary road right here, which is right here. Possibly even uh, a third tier of roads here. So like you've got your little uh, streets with no ends right here dead-end streets, which is just fine in this game. People have no problems making U-turns, and in fact, according to Eric C., and I'm probably butchering the pronunciation, uh, it's actually good for traffic. So, yeah, that's apparently a thing. But yeah, it makes sense. Uh, having a U-turn is better than having a uh, intersection, quite frankly. Although in this area right here, I don't think it matters. The example he has is just a bunch of dead-end streets. Branching off of it, it's kind of like a tree. So, for this right here, we have these guys. They go here. They go up here. They go here to the semi-main road. And this semi-main road is a feeder street for a massive number of smaller roads. And as you can see right here, there is actually a third tier of road that I've got right here. Although actually, no, that one uh, feeds back onto the main road itself as well. But yeah, the traffic would be fairly light on this feeder road. There's not too much trouble. I've installed some bus lines just to make things a little bit easier, get people to use the subway as much as possible. And that's an overwhelming success to the point of I'm concerned that there's no spots on the subway for... Uh, the Palm Snows region over there. So, yeah, this is working out really, really well. Traffic does not become a problem until we uh, get close to the roundabout interchange here, which I'm still extremely proud of this uh, type of interchange. I think it's a, I think it's a good idea. I'm sure it is not an original idea of mine, but I like it. It's cool. It's basically it's using a. Uh, it's basically using the highway tool to create a circle and then just having on-ramps from various things and then 
You just need your two interchange ramps. Everybody's going in the same direction. The problem with it is, is that, and it would be better with the traffic mod, is that these cars don't know how to fucking yield. That's the biggest problem, is that cars in this game do not know how to yield. Cars in this game just don't know how to drive. That's the reason that uh, traffic lights are such a big problem. And then also there's another problem with this right here, which I've I've gone ahead, I have finished some more stuff, and this entire area gets a great big revamp in the next time lapse here. I am just... Yeah, downtown's getting a huge, huge revamp here. Coming up here, because the traffic here is a nightmare. I've tried to alleviate things with the freight stations, but the only place I can find for them is next to uh, the coast which unfortunately means that these guys need to make a bunch of left turns into my downtown full of one-way streets, and I'm afraid I just might make things worse here. And I think I do actually make things worse for a while in the time lapse there, but I believe by the time I've got the uh, next recording going up that uh, things should be better. So, A lot of stuff is going to be changing here, folks. I'm going to be trying to increase the population. I mean, I'm pretty happy with... Uh, the climb here so far, but I want to get the city to uh, at least over 100,000 people. And, uh, yeah, what else did we do? We built the railway lines, which have their own traffic problems that will be addressed in the next time lapse. It's so... I'm willing to bet, quite frankly, that a lot of these traffic jam problems are coming because I hooked this thing up to uh, the outside. That's... I'm pretty sure that's a problem, because things were moving pretty good until I uh, hooked it up to the outside, and then a lot of these trains are owned by, uh, like, Los Cruz owns this train. Bad example. I also renamed a lot of the terminals here, but yeah, probably three quarters of the trains are owned by other cities. And yeah, as you can see here, I've messed with the names just so I know where they're going originally. I think I kind of gave up on that after a while. But yeah, seems like a good idea at the time. I was curious, I wanted to track things, I wanted to track where things are coming from, where they're going. And, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I've made some improvements, but as you can see, there's a whole hell of a lot of work that still needs to be done here. And, uh, next up... Downtown's going to get a great big revamp, and uh, we may just change the entire layout here. I think I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be sticking with the uh, cargo with cargo trains moving stuff downtown because I think that's a great way to do stuff. It gets a lot of traffic off of here, and as you can see, this interchange runs beautifully compared to what it did before. Let's actually just take a look at the traffic here. Yeah, so. Basically, one could say that the bad traffic from downtown actually comes through here, travels all the way along here, and I do believe at some point actually comes in and starts affecting the lineup right around here. Although at the same time, I think that it's just like any time anybody butts in here, it just kind of slows things down, but... The traffic is heavy, but it's consistently moving. I mean, I wish they would use other lanes. And I wish I could make it so that... I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'll take a look at how this is running uh, after the uh, next time lapse here, and I may look into redoing it, because I'm not thrilled with this. And as a matter of fact, yeah, the traffic is now completely backlogged here. To the point of people are just saying, fuck the highway, I'm going this way. Yep. So, yeah, that pretty much covers it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series. I will post a link to uh, Erixie's guide in the description below this video because, quite frankly, I could have... I couldn't have made that uh, subdivision without uh, inspiration from that uh, from his guide there. 
and I do want to, uh, I definitely do want to share, uh, my, uh, sources with people cause my channel is all about, uh, the spirit of my channel at least is about not necessarily being an awesome gamer and uh, teaching everybody to be awesome like you, but being competent and then doing your research, figuring stuff out and then sharing, sharing the love, I guess. Yeah. We'll go with sharing the love. I want to share the love folks. I want to share the knowledge. I want to share the love in the form of knowledge. And that's that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.